What is up? This is Jeremy Ellis, continuing to walk you through the process of converting your MPC samples and programs into Reason or Record instruments. All right, I'm working in Record. I'm going to go to Preferences and make sure that my MPD is turned on. There it is. She lives right there. All right, actually, make sure that you are in Keyboard and Control Surfaces. All right, there's my guy. Make sure, for sure, find it. Find me. Press a button. Yes. Choose. Hit OK. All right. Confirmed. You're good to go. Let's program the MPD. All right. Out of the box, it starts on preset number one. We're going to move this knob over here to reason two. You hit enter by uh, hitting this guy right here. All right. If you go to the A pad bank, you're going to notice that each of these notes it's chromatic, it's moving up, 35, I'm sorry, 36, 37, 38, 39, so on and so forth. In our last video, we discussed how the MPC starts on 35. That's going to be up to you. Pad bank B keeps on moving up chromatically. C starts on 68, moves all the way up to note 83. Pad bank D happens to be program changes and not notes, though, so we want to change that later. All right, let me remember for later that this last note's 83. OK. Now we want to create a new preset by copying or saving to a new location. So I hit this little button right here. It says Save to O2. No, I want to save it to 13, which I know is an empty one. Copy to 13. Enter by hitting this button right here. Yes, now it says Reason 13. Whoops. Now I want to go to the D bank and make these into notes instead of program changes. Let's remember that the last note on our C bank is 83. We want to go to pad bank D, hit that note, and make this into note 84. Now we, we hit edit after selecting that note. And instead of it being a program change, you want to move this dial so it says note, select enter. And what note do we want it to be? 84. That's right. So 83 on C bank, next note, 84. Now select next note, hit edit. Program change? No, we want to turn it into a note. We want it to be 85. That's right, go back to preset. Now we when we select those notes, we have 84, 85. Let's do two more of these. Hit the note, hit edit. Make sure it's not a program change. It's a note. You want it to be 86. That's right. Hit the next pad. So you can stay in the edit window. Set parameter for program change. No, we want it to be a note. And we want it to be 87. That's right. OK, go back to preset. Hit those notes in a row again. And you're going to notice that it's 84, 85, 86, 87. Continue in that same fashion for the next 12 pads, and you will have created a new pad bank. Let's save this information. Hit this guy right here, save to 13. Yes. You've just created a new pad bank. So if you're going to be using your MPD to control the same notes that the MPC uses, which is starting on 35, then you want to go into your NNXT, select everything, and just move everything so it starts on the note B instead of C. You can see that highlighted up here. And if not, move everything right back. Make sure you have everything selected when you're doing that, or you're going to be really annoyed later. All right. Test out our MPD to make sure that it's playing every note chromatically perfectly. Let's create an instrument real quick. Let's do an NXT. That's always my favorite. It's on a piano, so I'm going to touch every single note to confirm that it's all working. All right, so I have a preset here that I've created that starts on number 35, and I'm going to use it to test out all of my notes. Here we go. Switch to B. Switch to C. Switch to D. Everything seems to be working just fine. There you go. That's how you program your MPD. Have a great day. Bye-bye.